talking. Um, I said we'd give it one more minute, and that was exactly one more minute. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Uh, my name is John Bailey. I'm with NetMotion Wireless. And today we're going to focus on really redefining the secure mobile experience. Um, we have a lot of experience in this field that we'll, we'll cover throughout this presentation. Um, there's a lot of information on our agenda, um, so I'm going to probably go fairly quick in some sections. Uh, just so everybody knows, if there are questions, please um, do use the question bar at the end within um, the webinar. And type your questions in there. Everyone is on mute. Uh, we will definitely get to the questions at the end. Uh, I will watch them real time. So if, if a question you know, I can answer really quickly and it makes sense for the topic we're on, I'll address that. Otherwise, we will address the questions later. Also, this uh, session is being recorded. So everyone that has registered or signed up will get a copy uh, of the presentation itself as well as a link to the recording. So if you, you know, missed part of it, you want to watch it again, or you know, maybe you want to share it with your colleagues, there will be a, a recording of this presentation. So quickly again with the agenda, I'm going to cover a little bit about who we are, talk about you know, the current mobile environment and really the concerns that, that we see out there, the concerns that you probably have as enterprise customers, and then talk about you know, how do you address those connectivity issues, and then I'll do a demo. Um, and then we'll do some quick case studies and some Q&A at the end. You know, again, we've got 30 minutes, so I'm going to go relatively fast. And uh, let's get started. So NetMotion Wireless. Um, basically, we as a company, we are focused on addressing the hard problems around enterprise mobility. Now, we, we categorize those problems into sort of three primary categories, and that's connectivity, visibility, and control. When you think about that, you think about your mobile environment, and if, if you're looking to do a new mobile deployment or you already have a highly mobile workforce, you know, connectivity, visibility, and control, what does that mean to you? Connectivity really is productivity. You know, if a user can't get connected and stay connected throughout the day, they can't be productive. Um, visibility, how can you, you know, how can you really improve the experience of the user if you can't see what their, their own experience is like, or you can't see what they're doing in the field. So visibility is key to any mobile deployment. And then control. And control really is, is a number of ways to look at control. It can be controlling what a user can do, but it can also be controlling the mobile experience to optimize that, that experience for the user. So not just controlling that they can't access certain things, but maybe controlling that some things have priority over others. We've been around for more than 15 years. We've got more over a million critical mobile workers um, that are, are, are relying on NetMotion. We are head, headquartered in Seattle, Bohawks, like that. Uh, we've got a lot of customers in, in multiple industries. So, you know, if you look at all these different industries from public safety to utilities to, you know, to energy, um, we've got healthcare, we've got a multitude of enterprise customers, everything from airlines to um, insurance companies. Each one of these have something in common. And, and what that is, is that really they rely on mobile workers in the field. They rely on highly mobile users to, to basically do mission critical deployment to you know, run their business. Um, that could be everything from a police force you know, in police vehicles to someone working on a utility pole in, in a storm to you know, a claims adjuster coming out to your house. All of these users you know, have critical mobile deployments that they, they really need to rely on. And they use NetMotion to do that. So let's talk about what you know. What are those concerns that we see? There's been a lot of research in this, especially recently. Um, we're seeing more and more companies really rely on mobility. Um, this is this is basically you know sort of a, a survey that was done to say, you know, how critical is mobility or mobile deployments to the enterprise? And you know, if, if you just look at this chart right away, you can see you know 80% is the extreme importance. But even tying that into, you know, it's somewhat important, 95% of those surveys, you know, are looking at mobility today and, and are relying on that as something critical to, to doing their business, to running their business. So, you know, it, it definitely is, it is in the minds of, of enterprise customers. You know, what about connectivity? Again, what I touched on in the very beginning is, you know, mobility is great and the concept is great and, and it's really making things more optimized for companies and enterprise. However, you know, connectivity is at the root of that. So, you know, if I'm relying on mobility 
but I keep getting dropped off a connection or I can't stay connected, you know, what, what does that really mean? What, how is this tool that I've been give, given really going to help me actually do my job if I can't stay connected to do it? So what's interesting about some of the, these results of this survey is, you know, since using 4G, 43% use fewer Wi-Fi. So I thought that was kind of an interesting, you know, um, survey result is you think about, you know, as LTE and 4G, you know, the speeds are so powerful now that really Wi-Fi is sort of becoming a, a little bit of a legacy, if you will. I mean, it, it, it's not there yet, and obviously, you know, there's times when you want to rely on Wi-Fi, especially when you consider cost, but it's just kind of an interesting, you know, survey result. Also, you know, one of the, the, the second bullet there is connectivity across multiple networks is chaotic. If you are a mobile user or you, you hear this from your mobile workers, when they go from, say, their cellular connection to going to a Wi-Fi hotspot or, you know, coming into the office, that transition to those different networks, you know, it, it, it's not a smooth transition, especially if you're relying on a mission-critical real-time application. And, and that really becomes difficult for a mobile worker, right, because every time they might do a transition of a network, you know, what is that experience like? What do they have to do as the end user? Do they have to re-log into their applications? Do they have to restart their applications? Or, you know, it just becomes, can become frustrating. What about, you know, connectivity? What are, what are security concerns around this? If you look at the ones that are circled, you know, and you think about the, my very, you know, opening statement about connectivity, visibility, and control, I, I mean, that, those are those three things right there, right? It's connectivity, security, right? control and visibility. So, you know, those are the concerns of the enterprise. You know, if I have a new mobile deployment, obviously connectivity, it, that's a requirement of the deployment, but I, as the IT administrator, I need to make sure that's also secure, right? And, you know, I, I can't have a device go out there that I don't have some sort of security and control over that device, and then I better have visibility into, you know, what, what that device is being used for now that it's left the building. Right, so it's definitely a concern in the in the, the mobile world. And again, this is just sort of hitting at home again. What about end users? You know, probably one of the biggest complaints, and you know, me as an end user, I have this complaint too, is getting dropped off. You know, a connection. Right, if if you're using an application and you get dropped, you know, that experience can be bad. And so you you need a tool to solve that, as well as you know, slow data transfer. You know, although L LTE and 4G can be great. And, you know, a few, few slides ago, we sort of showed that that has changed the world a little bit, you know, in terms of relying on a higher speed connection. There can also be issues about just data transfer on that. You know, when you think about, you know, can you optimize that experience? You know, is there a way to maybe send less data? You know, can you use you know, highly compressible, you know, algorithms to essentially send less data across the wire so you can kind of optimize that experience for the end user? So let's talk about that. So addressing mobility connectivity issues. And again, I will actually do a demo so I can, you know, you can see basically everything I'm saying and how you can actually address this. But so let's talk about, you know, what do you really need to do? You know, how do you develop a connectivity strategy? You know, how do you optimize what the user experience is? You know, I mean, I need to basically optimize and I need to do this across my different mobile environments, right? Because I may have one solution today that works for my, my iPad users, which we're seeing more and more of in the enterprise, but do I have that same solution for my Windows users, right? You know, it, am I look, relying on different connectivity? I need to unify that connectivity because if I can unify it, then I can really optimize it as a group. You know, what about, you know, controlling that? Again, this kind of goes back into the statements I made before, but, you know, how can I control certain things that I've deployed these mobile devices, right? And I know that, you know, there's been studies that if, if you allow users to, even if it's corporate owned, you allow users to feel like it's their own personal device, such as they can do personal things on the device, they will take better care of it. And, and there's been a lot of studies done, done around that. So control can mean different things. It can't just mean I'm not going to let them do anything except for work, you know, work-related stuff. But it could mean that I'm going to let them do personal things. They can stream radio. They can listen to music. But I'm going to control when they can do that, and I'm going to control how they can do that. So maybe I want to make sure that their mission-critical apps, you know, their work-related apps, are getting the primary amount of bandwidth, and maybe I'm not going to let them do those personal apps when they're on, you know, a cell
cellular connection because that's something that I'm paying for. And then again, I need to really monitor that end user experience. So through all of this, you know, how do I troubleshoot when they have issues? You know, they're, they're, they're going to have issues. I mean, it's just sort of the way of the world. And how can I see where they're having those issues and see what that experience is? You know, how, how can I really monitor their overall experience, right? Because, you know, it's one thing to, to give them this tool. Um, it's another thing to really try to make the tool better, right? And there's a lot of ways to look at that. You know, there's, when, when you're in the field, which I'm in the field a lot, you know, you tend to, you know, as an end user to stop reporting problems, right? Because you just sort of figure that, you know, they can't do anything about it. This is just what's going to happen. So how can you as the IT administrator sort of be the hero here and you can see where they're having these problems and you can find solutions to address them proactively. So again, visibility is key. And then control is really hard without visibility. Okay. So again, just a few more points, you know, optimize, control, visibility. So again, think about those things when you think about a mobile deployment and a mobile strategy around that. Um, you know, optimizing, you need to keep it simple. You need to really find a way, and I, and I think I can show you that, to make these wireless network use cases seamless. You know, I need a way to easily transition across networks, a way to, to you know, make that experience better for the user if they get dropped. Um, and then, you know, if I can do that, that also enables me as a company to deploy more applications, right? I might be starting with one application today and unfortunately sort of hitting the wall with these problems and that's today is going to prevent me from deploying more apps, right? Because it's going to, you know, exemplify those problems further. So if I can find a solution in the beginning to fix those problems, then I can deploy more applications. It's much easier for me to do that. Again, control, you know, control, I need to be able to control what these devices can do. Um, I need to make sure that, that my control is network aware. So it's not just a static control where I'm saying you can never do this. It needs to be network aware. So, you know, there's, again, making these devices feel more personal to the user. So I could say when you're on Wi-Fi, you, you can run these, these thick applications that consume a lot of bandwidth. But when you're on, on, on cellular, I'm not going to allow you to do that because, you know, first off, that bandwidth is a little bit more critical, but I'm also paying for that bandwidth. So again, it, control is about many different things, but it, it needs to be network aware. It needs to be dynamic. Then visibility. Visibility, I need to really see what's happening out there. You know, can I run reports? Can I analyze these reports and see what the user experience is like? You know, do I really know what it's like to be that end user using this mobile device, you know, and, and see into the day in the life of my field worker. And, you know, again, this is where IT can kind of be the hero here because if I can improve that because I'm getting visibility into it, then it, they're going to be more open to adopting these kind of technologies and I'm going to really get more success with my deployment. And again, you know, going back to the sort of the beginning, I'm making those workers more productive. It's overall, you know, good business sense. Okay, so let me go in and let me show you what I'm actually talking about here. Okay, so what I've got here is I've got my iPad. And um, a couple of things, you know, I mentioned this a little early on. We're seeing, you know, iPads more and more uh, in, the, in the enterprise. You know, they're really making a big push there. Um, we're seeing user adoption seems very high on them. You know, everybody kind of loves the interface of an iPad. So let's talk about what we've got going on here. And I get, I apologize a little bit. There's a delay in seeing the screen. And so I'll, I'll try to click through kind of slowly. But basically with my iPad, I, I'm connected to both cellular as well as Wi-Fi. If I jump out here and I look, I've got what, what we call our NetMotion Mobility Agent installed on this iPad. So again, NetMotion, we've been around for over 15 years working in the mobile space and optimizing mobile space. This, this is our agent that's running on an iPad right now. And you can see it's currently connected. If I click on the status, um, there's a couple of things you can see on here. You know, first off, you can see that um, basically that the local address right in the middle, that 172, that's my Wi-Fi network. So again, I have two networks currently available to this device. But our agent is smart enough to de decide, I'm going to prefer this one because A, it's faster, and B, it's Wi-Fi, right? So I, I'm going to basically dynamically make that decision on behalf of the user to prefer using that network. 
I also am doing AES 256 bit encryption. So, so again, security, one of the big concerns of the enterprise, you know, obviously it needs to be secure. And then a couple other quick things I've got compression on. Um, I'll show you some data around compression, which is pretty interesting. So let me jump out, and I, I'm just going to run a simple application. Again, I apologize for a tiny bit of delay here. So let me just log into this application, and then I'll kind of walk through what it's doing. So this is just a simple Telnet application. And what it is going to do is just run a little script here that essentially spits out the time every second, OK? So you can see, it's uh, although the resolution is kind of hard to see, uh, you get the idea that it's spitting out the time every second. So a couple things about this. Telnet, one of the worst applications for you know network issues. Um, if there's any kind of problem with the network connection, you will get kicked out of the application. So although this is Telnet, this could be you know whatever your field force application happens to be. So if I jump back over here to, let's say, my Wi-Fi. I'm connected on Wi-Fi, but let's say I moved out of coverage, so I've lost my connection. And a couple things happen here. If I look over at the, the mobility client, um, you didn't see it there because it happened so fast. It actually changed state. And if I look here at the local address, it switched over automatically to the cellular connection. Okay? If I jump back out to my application, my application is still connected, and it, is, it has not even lost any data. Okay? So a couple things happen there. Again, this is the seamless network transition. I moved over to another network without any issues. Okay? The user didn't even have to do anything. Now let's just say I jump back out here, and you know I lose my cellular connection. So now I, I, I have completely gone off the grid, right? As an end user, I'm disconnected. A couple things happen here. If I look at our mobility agent, you can see that it's in a state of sort of transition here. It's saying, you know what, the server's unreachable. Um, basically, I'm waiting for a connection. I'm waiting for a connection to become available. Now, if I look at my application, the good news is my application is basically just paused. You know, in a typical scenario, my application, you know, the field user, I would have been kicked out. I potentially would have lost data. Uh, you know, I, I may have to restart the device. It really just depends on, you know, how my, my application responds in those situations. Now, let's say I come into the yard. I, I come into where Wi-Fi wi -Fi happens to be available, okay? And, and basically, you can see that the mobility agent recognizes that a connection is becoming available, and it's it connected on that. If I look at my status, you can see I'm back on the Wi-Fi network. So again, the user didn't have to do anything here. This just happened all behind the scenes. Then I jump back out to my application, and I, I'm back exactly where I was. So um, I don't feel like reading that right now. <laughs> so basically, I, I not only am I back where I was, but I didn't even lose any data. Okay. So again, this is all about connectivity that I just showed you. So there was some security there as well, but this is about connectivity. And connectivity, again, is productivity. So let's jump out and take a look at another piece of the puzzle here. And that's really invisibility and control. Okay, so now what I'm doing is I'm taking a different view. That was sort of the end user, the field worker view. Now I'm looking at the IT administrator. And what I'm looking at here is essentially a mobility, net motion mobility console. A couple of things really quick. You can see in my deployment, I have 202 mobile devices. 21 are currently connected, and seven are currently in this unreachable state. So what that means is seven devices out there are in that state of transition where they've lost their network completely, but they're not disconnected from their application. So again, when they come into coverage at some point, they're going to resume exactly where they were. Now, what's great about this, I can click on the connected devices. I can see all the devices that are connected. And if you look at the right here, look at the OSs that I'm running in this environment. I'm running Windows 8 devices, Windows 7. I've got several iOS. I even have an Android device. So again, this is a way to unify your, your mobile devices out there and your management of those mobile devices. Again, you know, it, it, it can become a trap to end up with one solution for one type of device another solution for another type of device, and then, you know, what happens when the next device comes out? You know, you really need a, a unified view. You need a single pane of glass to 
could see what's happening with your mobile deployment. And that is really going to make it better for you as an IT administrator to make it consistent in terms of how you manage this. Now, in terms of you know visibility, I can click on a device here. There's a lot of information I can see. I can even see applications this device is running. So there's a lot of detail in terms of visibility. I can run reports. So I'll just look at a few reports really quick. If I look at, say, compression, right? We talked about you know, compressing data and the importance of throughput, the importance of speed, the importance of cost associated with cellular. I mean, look at this device right here in the middle. If I hover over this, 55% of that data was compressed. So you know, what does that mean? That means a lot of things. That means, first off, if I'm someone that has, say, a 5 gig plan, and I'm able to compress half that data that I send, I've almost, in fact, doubled my plan, right? Because I'm sending less data than I would normally. So that's a great user experience, and that's a great cost savings really quick right there. Um, another report that I'll show just really quick is, you know, connection status. Now, I'll just... Ladies and gentlemen, I think we're having an audio issue with our presenter. If you'll just give us one moment, we'll try and get him reconnected. Uh, sorry about that, folks. Yeah, uh, WebEx just kicked me off. So I uh, apologize for that. So just jumping back on here and showing really quick um, connection status. So again, this is where the IT administrator can see what a user's experience is. Okay. So what I'm looking at here really quick here, I can see Dave Hall. He's been connected the entire day. So he's had a great user experience. Um, I can see his iPad. Not so well. It's been connected a little bit, but then it, it, it's gotten a couple of hiccups here where it's been disconnected. I look at this iPad down here, and, and this is something I would need to go investigate. This thing is connecting, reconnecting, disconnecting. I mean, if I was that end user and that was my work device, uh, that would be a horrible experience. So the nice thing is, you know, using the mobility product that I showed you, it, it's going to make that experience better, and then it gives you a chance as the IT administrator to go in and look for ways, you know, to really kind of solve what that problem is. Last thing I'll show you really quick is control around policy. So again, policy needs to be dynamic. So if you look at what I'm showing you here, is these are the conditions where we can do policy. And you can see the different OSs we support. I can do conditions based on the access point. I can do conditions based on the interface. So again, they go to cellular. I can, I can change the user experience. I can do it when their speed has changed. So if they get on a connection that is a certain speed, I can change that user experience. So again, this is all around control. You know, and control means you know, not just controlling what a user can do from you know, a security standpoint, but also con controlling the experience to make it better. OK. So again, that was a quick demo. Um, you know, just kind of talking a few case studies here, and then we'll, we'll kind of open it up to q and I, I think a question might have come in. Uh, you know, AT&T is a an example, you know, they had a high volume of, of help desk calls. You know, basically, users out there that are, you know, trying to work and getting disconnected, you know, they would continually call in, and it was just, it, it was a terrible, you know, user experience. They were able to actually increase the number of jobs per day because when these devices would get kicked off the network, basically, you know, the user in some cases had to reboot completely. They definitely had to re-log into everything, and just the, the amount of time that took you know, just lend itself to a bad user experience first off, but also, you know, the re not being able to do as many jobs because, you know, you have to spend more time at a particular job. Potentially, you lost data. So, you know, this was really a tool to, to really help them. Alina, uh, similar. We, we have a lot of customers in um, the healthcare business, you know, in, in healthcare, and, there, and there's a couple ways to look at that. You know, we've got home healthcare that our users going out to someone's home and they have an iPad with them, or they have an Android tablet, or maybe it's a Surface tablet, and you know they're inevitably going to get disconnected, and they're taking lots of patient data. They were really getting frustrated around that. We also see 
in healthcare, we see a lot of stuff inside the four walls. So, you know, wireless inside the four walls in a hospital tends to, you know, not necessarily penetrate as well. And so there's a lot of times when, you know, a clinician may get kicked off the wireless in, in that experience. Maybe they're in Citrix and they have to re-log into Citrix because they got kicked off the wireless. You know, that's a, that's a, a problem we can solve. So in this case, you know, just for the home health care, their patient visits increased by 50%. So, you know, that's really big. I mean, that, that's a, a huge increase, right? Their health desk tickets dropped from 90 a month to virtually nothing, you know? So, so this is a tool to really, you know, improve that user experience to also help you, to basically help you have less calls, to help your IT, you know, figure out ways to solve the, the disconnect problems while they have, you know, our, our solution out there making the end users being able to work. Okay, so we've got a few minutes left. I know, a, I think a few questions came in. I'm just going to take a, a look here. Hi, John, we do have a couple of questions. And just as a reminder sure. at everyone that you can enter your questions into the Q&A forum. Uh, the first question is, will this work with my MDM solution? That's a great question. So um, that's an excellent question. Will this work with my MDM solution? Now, one of the things you need to, to make sure it hits home is we are complementary to your MDM. So it's an MDM solution is a, is a specific, um, you know, has, it, has its specific uses. I mean, it definitely is, use, is used to manage devices, um, deploy applications, you know, pre-configure devices. We are we can be one of those applications, right? And we work with the MDM solution to make, again, connectivity, visibility, and control. So we're about the connection, and the MDM is really about managing the device. So it, it's a great question. It, we would not be there to replace your MDM. We would be there to complement it. Great. The uh, next question is, is, can this be used with Citrix? Uh, another great, great question. So. Um, Absolutely. We have a lot of customers that use Citrix, especially in the healthcare industry. Um, basically, we can make Citrix perform better. So, if, you know, what, there's a couple things we can do there. First off, all the seamless tra network roaming that I showed you, you know, that will work perfect with Citrix. Also, you know, again, in hospitals where Wi-Fi tends to not, be, not work quite as well throughout, you know, the hospital, um, we're going to keep you from getting disconnected from Citrix. So when you do get disconnected off the network, we will keep the Citrix session alive. Now the other side effect of that, which is huge with Citrix, is if you ever experience orphaned connections um, or zombie connections or ghost connections, you know, everybody calls it something different, we will make that problem completely go away. So we see a lot of customers, or, or when I talk to customers, you know, where if a user gets disconnected off the network and then reconnects, you know, especially if they reconnect from another network, Citrix server Citrix Farm thinks they're still connected and they can't connect. And that's a help desk call. It's an administrator killing that session. We can make that completely go away. Great. Well, it looks like we don't have any other questions at this time, John. So, And we are bumping up right against the hour here. Perfect. So at this time, I would like to thank everybody for joining us. And if you have any additional questions, we're happy to address them offline. But thank you again for joining us. Thanks, everyone. And just the last slide here, you know, definitely reach out to us. Um, we love to do evals, so if you, if you want to try this out for yourself, uh, we absolutely will help you with that. So, again, thanks, everyone, and uh, have a good day.